uh, Ian Gray, uh, Associate Director for Facade Consultancy at BB7. The impact of the Building Safety Act, uh, it's kind of a, a two-part uh, question currently. Uh, the first element that's really affected us has been a greater demand on proof and evidencing, um, particularly at the earlier stages of the design. Uh, traditionally, you would have uh, your design and it would evolve from Reba 2, Reba 3, and it, everything would kind of crystallize towards Reba 4, and then you would get to the specialist designer coming in. And then after that, it was, right, now the design's getting done, and we're seeing a lot more proof, uh, requirement for proof of that much earlier in the process. The second part really is uh, a greater drive on competence. Um, and a lot of people will think, oh, well, OK, so the drive on competence is to do with site installation. And we're finding that it's not site installation, it's everything. And it's really affecting us in terms of how we bid for work, uh, what we're doing in terms of driving uh, ourselves forward and proving that we are competent as consultants to help advise our clients. Uh, we need to be uh, just as robust as anyone else in the industry. Uh, in making sure that we know what we're talking about. We're meant to be the advice to our clients and how can they trust us? We need to evidence that. Those are probably the two current main changes. I also see that there is a potential big future impact coming, which is uh, all to do with um, Gateway 2 and the design, the design freeze, as it were. There is not a lot of evidence currently um, as to exactly what the building safety regulator wants at the gateway two point. But there is definitely a fear in the industry that we're going to move towards, this is design freeze at gateway two and now it can't change and it's locked. And we just don't know to what extent that is yet. But if it is a locked in, uh, this is the design and you have a change control process, but it's very rigid, it could fundamentally change how we procure projects and how we help advise and where we and especially subcontractors get involved. So I can just see that being a massive change industry wide. Um, it depends on which way it goes, but it could be the big one. We have uh, always been very collaborative with the industry. Um, we need to understand what products are out there. We need to understand they're robust. We need to work with specialist designers. Our clients are asking us, who, who do you know in the industry? And who do you know who you trust in the industry? Uh, and the only way we can do that is to be collaborative, uh, to understand what, uh, what specialist designers are capable of, to understand what they offer to the industry, to understand what products are out there, and can we wholeheartedly recommend them or, or not? In general, uh, we would be looking at items in a fair amount of depth. That's the reason why we are part of the design process. So we would be looking beyond a, a, a product passport or a BBA certificate or something along those lines. And we'd be looking to drill down into the depths of how did you get there? Why is that product suitable for this application? And what standards does that then apply to? And have you met those standards and criteria? And really drilling down into the technical detail. If you're looking at changing a product in any way, shape or form, the, the evidence base, which has always been, you need to prove this works, is just going to be much more robust now. Uh, and we, we form as facile consultants a part of that process in making sure that we understand it and we agree with it and we are informed of the risk. And therefore the client is. We're looking at uh, things in terms of uh, positioning ourselves to be more focused on the client's needs across the whole process uh, of design development. So right from Reba Stage 1 all the way through to Reba Stage 7. That continuity is where we see uh, the, big, the biggest benefit and the biggest value can be added uh, to, a cl to clients and to a project in terms of making sure that it's robust, well-engineered, safe, uh, and is, has got the longevity and the legacy that you're not going to be coming back to that building in 10 years going, oh my God, this is leaking, terrible, uh, unsafe, etc. We've also had to work on developing some new documentation uh, and new product lines and services in order to uh, essentially support the new regime. So elements such as the building safety case, as facade consultants, we are part of that process in helping the relevant uh, principal designers and uh, fire engineers and all of all of the other moving parts that, that form part of this um, all coming together. We are part of that process. Post Gateway 2, uh, we're seeing that uh, things are uh, 
potentially more risky where someone has evolved the whole process of the design up until a certain point and then we are coming in and taking over after Gateway 2, especially if we fundamentally have issues and disagreements with what has come before or we see risks that someone else hasn't. Now, we always would have had to flag those risks before and, there, and that's always been a, uh, something that responsibly we should be doing. But with the new measures and the new regime and the the, the way of enacting that change control, it makes that uh, that engagement uh, a a lot more critical, but b a lot more costly uh, in terms of it's got the potential. If there is a fundamental disagreement, we can't sit idly by. But in order to change it, you might have to go through a whole change control process, which is a lot of extra time, a lot of issue to clients. So, from that perspective, absolutely, we should be raising it as we always have, but. In my personal view, I think it means that we require a, a more experienced person in the room to be robust enough with, uh, with, with sort of that kickback and that, no, this isn't right and I need to stick by my guns uh, on this is needing to be changed. I think having bodies like the JCI and GQA and all of, the, all of that, those associations, they create an environment for crossover knowledge that makes you better than the minimum. Uh, and it makes you it makes it something where you can be competent measure your competent but also give you room to better it to be better than the minimum to 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 be the best that you can be in it